Welcome to Seek University and this video on exporting data from Seek. At times, Seek customers wish to use Excel features for graphing, pivot tables, and other tools, and Seek is an excellent way to get their data collected, contextualized, and cleansed prior to use in Excel and other tools. The export feature in Seek enables you to take whatever you have in the display pane and export it for visualization and easy use in other programs. The key thing to remember is that it'll export only the data in the display pane, so make sure to adjust your display range to cover all of the data you want to use. There are two options for export, Excel and OData. First we'll look at Excel. There are a couple options in the export dialog. The Summary Data checkbox refers to the capsule data that is in the capsule pane if you wish to include it. The Sample Series checkbox refers to the data that is shown in the display range. Here below Sample Series, we see a mandatory option for selecting the time denominator of your exported data. The first denominator option has Seek select a gridding pattern for you based on an analysis of the signals you are displaying, such as per second or per minute, etc. If you have a grid period in mind, you can select the custom grid period option and fill in the timing that you want. You might, for example, want to round up to a minute or even 10 minutes if you have second or sub-second data. You can also get the original timestamps and manage up the alignment, interpolation, and gridding of the data yourself. I'll use the custom grid pattern and select one minute as a grid pattern. When I click Export, Seek will export an Excel file that has a new workbook with four pages of data. First, there's the information page with the series name and individual capsules in column A, with the capsule series name in column E. Again, these were the capsules in the display range and therefore listed in Seek's capsule pane prior to export. On the summary page, there is information on the series that were in the display range, including the number of samples in the original signal and some basic statistics on them. The third page is the capsule summary with statistics on each capsule, which was the first checkbox on the export dialog. This is the same information you could get in the capsule pane in Seek, as shown here. This page was built specifically for creating a quick summary in a pivot table. Just select the table of data, insert a pivot table, and lay out the columns as you like. Here I'll use capsule series and start dates for capsules as my rows, and we can see that Excel aggregates the data by month. Then I'll put series in as my column and average value as my value, delete the grand totals as they're irrelevant, and I'm done. If I want to see this as a bar chart, I can quickly do that with Excel's insert chart function and quickly narrow down my summary to just the data I want. The last page in my export file is a simple list of the data that is presented at a one minute intervals, as I requested in the custom grid pattern option. Like with the data on the previous page, I can quickly turn this into a graph. Now I'll go back to Seek and touch on the other exporting formats. The OData export creates an OData endpoint for access by an OData client such as Tableau. Seek provides instructions for how to access the endpoint URL in various clients to make your experience as easy as possible. This process in Seek, from signals to capsules to Excel or Tableau pivot tables and charts, can take hours if not days in a typical reporting process. Here at Seek, we've done everything we can to make that process as fast and easy as possible. Thank you for watching.